and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Grixis control. As you all know, this is one of my favorite decks to play, especially because of Nicol Bolas, Dragon God. Just such a sweet Planeswalker. It's a lot of fun to play Nicol Bolas, Dragon God decks. And honestly, I don't think Grixis control is as poorly positioned as it has been in the past. I think it's actually a pretty fine deck choice right now, even though you don't really see very many people playing it. Um, but I like where we have the list right now. If you remember last Sunday, we played Grixis Control as well in our Rank Up Sunday stream. That's right, we're doing Rank Up Sundays. You can tell we're playing all these decks in Ranked in Mythic here. That's my new my new thing. Sundays are going to be Rank Up Days. Um, and uh, what we had before is we had... Like last Sunday, we had the Enter the God Eternals that I really didn't like, and I think they're just too expensive for the metagame. And taking those out and putting in Legion's Ends in the main deck, I think, is a is a huge upgrade uh, for for what we got going on. Legion's End is just so good against almost everything. Uh, like there's very few decks that Legion's End is not good against, and I really like having it in the main. We got two in the main. We got another in the sideboard. It's just such a really good card, even. Even like the Scapeshift deck, that's not really a creature deck. Legion's End is still really good there also. And then, yeah, against the Vampire decks, getting getting a Danto Vanguard, which is a tough card for this deck to beat, and the Knight of the Ebon Legions that get really big. And then, you know, against Hydroid Crisis and all all the, all the uh, um, I guess, what are they, the Hydras. Um, you know, even the Voracious Hydra as well. It's just a good card. Um... Anyway, besides that, the main nothing else ch changing in the main deck here. I don't think. Oh, I, I cut the moment of craving for another cry of the carnarium. Uh, did want another cry of the carnarium there. Sideboard wise, I took out the contempt. Felt feel like contempt's a little expensive at four mana. Also wanting just to kind of lower the curve, and I'm putting a second on more ego in here. Um, you know, so I I think that we probably have an, an okay game against the scapeshift decks with all of these sweepers. Like against Scapeshift, we have three Legion's Ends, two Cries, three Soots to sweep up the um, all the tokens that they can make. Plus, we have the Chandras that can recast those any of the Sweepers besides the Ritual of Soots. And then we also have the Unmoored Egos to be able to name Field of the Dead. I feel like we're going to be okay in that matchup. And then, of course, our Discard, Counter Magic, all that kind of stuff, too. We'll see, though. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let's give this a try. Grixis Control. Mono Red has like always been a deck that like Grixis is, has struggled against, but thankfully there's just not really people playing Mono Red right now. So I, that's like one reason why I think it's really good to be playing Grixis. The other thing is like Esper is Esper is tough for Grixis. I think like the games are always close, but I think Esper is like favored 55-45 against Grixis. So that's that's like one one thing that's a little tough with playing Grixis. Luz, thank you so much for the sub there. I really appreciate that support. You are awesome. Thank you so much. That is our third sub of the day. Yeah, I really like Kefnet in this deck as well. Well, looks like we're facing scape shift right away. Wow, they just kept a a two lander, the grazer that just doesn't put more. You know, grazer doesn't do anything if you only have two lands. That's the thing about grazer; you have to have like a ton of lands for grazer to be worth it. Because if you just have your two lands in play, you sure you put the second one into play, but then in turn two you don't have a land drop, so it didn't didn't do anything. All right, and now here they go. They gave us a little bit of time to set up, so now here they go. We got the first three. Zombie hordes covered. 
This isn't a fight you can win. That's more like it. Was it better to get Kefnet back in play? Or play the Dragon God? The, certainly the, the worst case scenario for me the worst case scenario for me in this game is them going instant speed scape shift on my end step and then I, I don't get to sorcery you know I don't get to use these sweepers and idea. it kills me so I'm going to go with the Kefnet to, to pressure Teferi where I don't have to like have you know I don't want Nicol Bolas to minus and kill Teferi I know my responsibility. I'll protect you. Obviously, they have the Grazer that gets to block the Kefnet. I've done the hero thing before. No, I don't have any Bedeck Bedazzle. So this is most likely circuitous route. Looks like I'm going to have to Dragon God kill the Teferi. Oh, wow. They just let that happen? That's good for me. Alright, Dragon God's still going to die. But we get to tick up and make them exile something. But that's that's like the one thing that's that's difficult for us is the instant speed zombies, as you can tell with all these sorcery speed removals. I'm I'm perfectly fine getting rid of the other zombies. So I'm just hoping they don't have more little teferis. As long as they don't have any more little teferis, that they're already down two. I am very confident in our ability here. Yep, you can name Field of the Dead with ego. Oh, oh, sorry. I do have one more ego, Beso. I didn't, I didn't see that part of your question. Yes, I do. I have two. I'm that is excellent timing. That is the problem right there. I will return one day. That's. I'm glad. I'm. I'm happy to see that prison realm. Let's try this. Because that means no instant speed scape shift here. But maybe they just have it the next turn. Yeah, Little Teferi is like the only thing that's going to beat us. Uh, so the third one. Quite rough. I need to draw, like, Bedevil here. Or something in that ilk. I need a Planeswalker removal spell. That doesn't work. Well, I need to get Kefnet back. I really wish... I wish I could go Kefnet and Soot to kill the Grazer. But I guess I'm going Kefnet and Cry. Oh, 
But yeah, no. The Oh, you're right. Chandra would have killed Teferi. Yeah, would have just gone Soot, then Chandra, then kill Teferi. Yeah, what? I don't know why I'd... that wasn't really on my mind. Um, I don't really want this Kefnet. I'm just going to decline. You can just keep it over there. That's fine. Yeah, that, that might have been my really big mistake. I don't know why I... I don't know. I was just kind of talking through the plays and stuff, and yeah, I just missed that. I've got it. Open mind. Here goes nothing. Uh, if it wasn't for instant speed, yeah, this to fairy. Possible they don't have escape shift though still. That's not a great card to play in Dinar set. Just saying. Just the trick for this. All right, I, I'm going to risk this, cast Discovery here, look for a land. No, maybe I shouldn't. Now, Erasure Dispersal doesn't get rid of... They can they can get rid of the Prison Realms instead of Little Teferi also. Um, this is really risky. Always had it. So they got three draw. No, they don't have more draw steps because of more. What do you? Narset's still a card. <laughs> Why not Legion's End the Crisis? Because I'd rather save Legion's End for zombie hordes. My mind needs a rest.
All right, we finally get to flip the Ascanta. And now we'll get rid of this third little Teferi. Third little Teferi's kind of dead no matter what. They should probably... Okay, that's that's Trust reasonable. I have a plan. Definitely reasonable. I was going to say, they got to do something with it. So I was going to say they should probably minus. So that was a good, good minus there. Sure. Give me one of these back. We have a lot of ways to deal with many zombies. This does, this does, this does. This does, this does. Yeah, I was going to kind of probably wait till end step. I wanted to like end step dispersal there, kind of see like what else they had going on. I wanted to get rid of the enchantment for good at least. And yeah, whenever they whenever they use the growth spiral so they had no cards in hand, then that was a good time to dispersal. All right, so another legion's end. Whole bunch of duresses, negate, stroke, egos. War boss is kind of weird here. What's up, Cruel Valkyrie with the Twitch Prime sub? Thank you so much. Everybody get your hype boats in the chat for Cruel Valkyrie. That's a good name. That's a pretty sweet name. Well, I can't you can't you can't attack before using cry whenever you reveal cry during your draw step with Kefnet. You can't do that. That's not how Kefnet works. So anyway, Warboss does a good job of killing little Teferi, which therefore, you know, like that's that's good, but Besides that, everything else, it's really bad to have. So I'm not going to put it in here. This is not a Command the Dread Horde matchup. This is not a... We'll get rid of the cast down and the scorn. Um, Gotta get rid of five more cards. I kind of like all the rest of these cards. Maybe... Getting rid of a Ravager. A Dragon God. I do like Little Chandra against Teferi. What are these other three cards I'm cutting? I'll get rid of the Discoveries, I guess. Like I gotta get rid of something. Now, Bedevil kills Little Teferi. I feel like that's necessary. But Dispersal is nice, of course, against the enchantments. So we'll see. If they have, like, a whole bunch of enchantments, you know, like Ixalan's Bindings and stuff like that, then I'm going to definitely need to get the Dispersals back. We'll see. Yeah, you can cut lands. I don't... With this deck, actually, no. I, I don't cut lands at all with this deck. Um... Really don't like only one black source.
No, I don't have any blood suns in here. Oh, come on, another Ascanta. prepared than me put thoughtfulness before action it's a minus two look at the bottom four cards of your library it's a good minus ability please no one one yay no one one mm, yeah I don't have any other sweeper for Hone your prowess. For things right now. So I think it is very likely that my opponent has Vela Summer. Which kind of makes Thought Erasure not so good. But I guess it, it also makes Negate not so good either. I'll take the Thought Erasure. Ugh, that guy's been laying up on the bed. He was here, like, at the beginning of the Team Elementals video. Hawkeye was, but he's gone up to the bed. Ugh. Yep, they're keeping that Veil of Summer up. Alright, so they do have Binding. Alright, so I need Dispersal. I'm not too worried about like the other enchantment, but you know, Ixalan's binding, that's something that's different. I was running out of sideboard time and you know cut the discoveries and regret that. This was overwhelming. Nah, I'm not casting the Ascanta to get to 7. I'm expecting this game to go a long time, and I think I want to have the other Ascanta in play also while I have the Sunken Ruin as well.
gonna be tough beating these bindings, to be honest. Car can help. I will spare you. In exchange for eternal servitude, my revenge will be painful. Witness a mote of my power. Hey, Ziet. Yeah, Mu just got an icon just a couple of days ago with the new update they had. No, Bolas cannot kill enchantments. This is not ideal, of course. Cool. I'll take that. That means now they, they don't have that Dovin's Veto for one of these other things. I was going to be naming Krasis. They got three Krasis's left. That was the card I was going to be naming with the Unmored Ego. But I mean, I need a, a sweeper here and I need it to resolve, so getting the Dovin's like They really shouldn't have Dovin's Veto that. That card didn't actually matter. And just go. Yeah, stroke counters crisis, but they also draw they draw millions of cards. I mean, I, I need to find, like, a Kefnet or something. You know, I need to get, like, my Kefnet. Something like that. We got a Kefnet on the bottom. Oh gosh. Yeah, I just put it on the bottom. Why couldn't you have binding this time? <laughs> now I have the answer to binding. It's 
Sorry I'm late. Don't worry. I got this. Well, that's... That's a huge problem. That's probably game. Okay, well that's not so bad. That's sorcery speed. Show deck, see if we're getting... No, yeah, we're... I've got time. Yeah, so I'm getting closer to the Chandra. There are 15 lands in. I feel really bad for getting rid of that Bedevil before. go. That's a good card. Is that the Chandra I knew about anyway? No. It was one card before it. Morning. So this is this is it. Do they draw a sorcery that no, goes and fetches them lands here. As, as long as they didn't do that. Living in a monastery full I mean, of it sure seems like it. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, I guess I could Thought Erasure. But I really want to bedevil and kill this Teferi. Oh, I can't even do this. What am I doing? Cancel. Cancel. Can I cancel this? Hey, these little guys are great. I'll eventually learn my lesson that you can't actually Chandra Minus with Teferi on the battlefield. Do you want me to phase you out of time? Here we go. I am not going to sit this one out. Gosh. Yes, please minus. Yes. Ah, oh, thank you for minusing. I actually get to kill this Teferi. Oh, but they still could have found something here. Or at least that's the last one. I think. Who knows? Maybe they have like seven of them in their deck. May not be the last one. I'll protect you. Hey, what's up, Kevnap? How you doing?
I cannot. Hey, these little guys are great. Hey, that was uncalled for. I can't actually like cast anything I reveal off of Kefnet with Teferi on the battlefield, of course, because I'd be casting it during my draw step. No, you, you do not want to play 24 lands in Grixis. Yay! All right, all the Teferis are gone. We don't have to worry about instant speed creatures now. So they're at 28 cards. I'm at 21. Remember this one? Ooh, not a counterspell. Alright, so what do we got over here? We got another Field of the Dead. The growth spirals, I didn't I didn't consider growth spiral. That's that gets instant speed creatures. That's a huge problem. I didn't think about growth spiral. There's three more in here. I'm gonna have to try to get rid of these growth spirals. There's one more binding, one more prison realm. Oh wait, I have negate though. Never mind, I got a negate. I forgot I just drew that in a game. Mother Ludi gave us homework. I wonder if they're gonna like run out of lands. That's a great one. Because if they have Growth Spiral here, they have to cast it. No! Stop! Stupid lag. How many lands they got left in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lands left. So after this, I want to name Ixalan's Binding. I guess both Binding and Prison Realm don't really stop. They like kind of stop, but not really. Uh, Kefnet, because, you know, you can just get to talk Kefnet. Hey, these little guys. 
guys are great. All right, they picked it up. GG's. Yeah, yeah, it always lags whenever you look in the when you look at like look at graveyard or look at um Yeah, whenever we look at the graveyard, look at the library, stuff like that. That's where it really lags. All right, so we got an unsummoned cosmetic. That's pretty cool. We got another pack. Let's crack it open, see if we get a mythic. Hey, we'll take it. Rare wild card. Not bad. And yeah, that were, there was a lot of lag there at the end of the game. I'm going to go ahead and reset Arena, even though we did right before that match. I'm still going to just do another reset. Definitely wish Arena performance was better than what it is. You think they were nowhere near out of it? I think I think they were basically out of it. I don't know. I mean, I had I still had a lot of sweepers because my this that Chandra got to minus for a sweeper, and then I had the Chandra in hand that was two sweepers. So I had I still had like three sweepers in hand, basically. And you know, like we were attacking with the Kefnet, they didn't have like that much of a clock. I don't, I don't think they had much of a chance left. We had we had three sweepers already in, in hand. Whenever you think about like the the Chandra on the battlefield was a sweeper, plus the Chandra in our hand was two more sweepers. Hmm. All right, better. See a Sulphur Falls. Oh, wait. I guess I need two blue. Darn it. I guess a Dragon Skull Summit. Ugh. I don't need all this red mana. I guess I gotta get rid of a Summit. Man, when we're playing, you know, like we're playing Nicol Bolas Dragon God, I want all the black sources possible, but... Hmm. It's a tough choice. I mean, we don't know what we're playing against. If we're playing against, like, an aggro deck, the Narset's not going to be very good. If we're playing against Control, the Narset will be good. We're just going to get rid of Narset. I want these lands. We're probably going to draw, like, four lands in a row now. Oh, are we going to have to do this all over again? <laughs> we got a different deck here. Yeah, can, can I have that Narset back now? <laughs> Looks like we got another Field of the Dead. Yes, I purchased XP uh, twice for different things that I wanted at the time. That's cool. It's a cool one for me to bedevil. You rock. Oh no. Our opponent's gonna you rock us like a hurricane. Your rock does double your field of the deads. You know, it's any permanent, it's not just like creatures or anything, so you get double the zombies with your rock in play. Block. No block. Did you see 
Yeah, the deck was right above your your sentence new. There was a deck list there. It's interesting that they would rather kill the Kefnet than kill Nicol Bolas the Ravager. That's interesting. When I get Kefnet back and I don't get Ravager back. Interesting. So they have a good card on top. get my own Cavalier Thorns. I'll get rid of my Kefnet, though. I'm basically debating between minus three killing killing this thing or plus two draw two cards. I think those are the two realistic good options. If I kill their thing, they can get one of these things back. But they already put kept their card on top. I guess getting a Cavalier of Thorns back is probably good. Let me draw cards. I always have an answer. I mean, taking your rock is just, I think just grabbing your rock is just worse than grabbing Cavalier of Thorns or worse than, it's worse than minus three, because if we take your rock, we're just going to have to, um, we're, like, we're just going to have to block the, their thing, so I just did minus oh, four to kill their thing instead of just this. minus three to kill their thing. I would like my opponent to use Field of Ruin. I would like to be able to I'd like to cast down this Cavalier of Thorns in response to a Field of Ruin. That is not good. That was not a good turn for me. All right, they didn't. Yeah, I didn't think he used the Johnny Avatar Joy. I thought that was kind of weird. They want your rock? Really? That is I know what must be done. Not bad for me.
Yurok was not the best card to choose here. Because that the card doesn't doesn't do anything. They just time walked themselves. Cavalier Thorns would have been a lot harder to beat. I don't even care about that Yurok. Make them exile one of these Le Light of the Deads or whatever. Let's draw more cards. Conceivable! I outsmarted you eons ago. Fun with with a cute play with the Yurok, but not not the best one. This is actually I don't know like like that that game lined up really well for us, but I could certainly see us losing this match. Still, they have. So many ways to grind. So many different angles they're attacking from. Basically, Cavalier Thorns is a heck of a card. Yeah, they had to exile a field there. With the tick up. Hmm. It's like Legion's End and Cry the Carnarium are basically only good against the zombies, but we need to keep them in. But the fact that, like, they're not all in on zombies and they have all the other stuff that we have to be worried about is good cho choosing on their part. It's good. Good deck building. This is the kind of matchup where Command the Dread Horde could be amazing for me. But it also may not be. I just don't go with the Unmored Ego. Too many things for me to fight over here. It's going to be tough. I would not be surprised at all if we lose games two and three. Hey, Paul's in the house. What's up, DJ Polly B? Yeah, our deck could work without Escanta. I mean, it's it's not going to be as good, but uh, yeah, you can just play another Discovery instead of Escanta. Or like a another um, that. The Narset. There you go. Narset. That's the Planeswalker I was trying to think of. Yeah, maybe I should have cyborged out Scorn. Does kill Risen Reef, and you never know. Like bouncing something just gives you that that tempo that you need.
Yeah, I have four Blood Suns in the Team or Elemental decks. In the Team or Elemental deck. I don't think I need it in this deck, though. As we saw, I just beat Scapeshift before this. I think I have an okay matchup against Scapeshift without... Without Blood Sun. I don't think I need it. But yeah, I have, I have four Blood Suns in the Team or Elemental deck. Hey Bias Green, thanks for thanks for checking out the videos on YouTube, and glad to have you here. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, Ego is good for the Cavaliers. That's what I would that's what I'd want to name with Ego is the the Green Cavalier. Honestly, from everything we saw that first game, that's the card that I'm the most scared of. But I, as you can tell, I didn't put it in because it's. It's kind of hard to pull off. Um, I'm going greedy here. Like, if I... I want to be able to go Ritual of Soot next turn and then and hold up Disdainful Strobe. It's definitely greedy. I want to be able to do both those next turn. Hey, what's up, weird man? We got another new subscriber. Thank you so much for that support. Everybody get your hype votes in the chat for our new subscriber there. And we are halfway to our sub goal here today. Question is, what percentage do you think the RNG has in affecting the outcome of a game versus skill? It's really hard to say, honestly. I haven't really thought about trying to put a percentage on on each one. To be honest, I don't, I don't know. It's that's a that's a hard one. You know, there's definitely aspects of both. Ooh, Ravager down. Anthes, uh, Anthes. Hmm. Anthetize. Anthetize. Oh, no, I'm going to go with Anne. Anne, thank you so much for that sub. <laughs> Words are hard. You are amazing. And thanks, everybody, for getting those hype boats still in the chat. So let's definitely go Soot first so they don't get to... Don't get to exile any of those things. And now, now we are in control. Our sixth sub of the day. We are getting towards that sub goal, Hawkeye. I have other schemes to attend to. My schemes are never ending. Yeah, you can find all the deck lists. Do exclamation point decks, plural. So you can find all the decks. Um, you can also find it on the YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. Gets you there, too. Yes, I would like that Noctis Grasp. Thank you. Looks like we're about to be 2-0. Oh. Saw the weakness of a Boreal Grazer there. As opposed to, like, Llanowar Elf. It would have been a whole lot better this game than a Boreal Grazer doing, like, nothing. Graveyard. Tick up. Nickel Bowl is so mean. Why, why are you not getting rid of Field of the Dead? Like, what do they expect? Ah! 
What are they expecting that field of the dead to do? There's the concession. All right, 2-0. Oh. We are 6-1. and one. We didn't even move up. We were at 99%. <laughs> we win. We're still at 99%. Ugh. We've only gone from 95 to 99 today, being 6-1. and one. Wait a minute. No, it's 1080. Okay. It looked like it moved up to 1440. Crowded at the 99%. Well, one of these team vents is going back. Need our black mana. Got a shocking mana base here. Ooh, the Temple of Skrylance. Favorite temple. Mind and body. Keep an open mind. We need another black mana for that thing. What do we have going on here? More escape shift? Third match against the escape shift deck? Escape shift ish? Hmm. They chose zero cards. That's an odd number to choose. I kind of actually don't really want to minus here. Because if I minus, I don't know, they kill Nicol Bolas the Ravager, then kill my Narset. Yeah. Right on schedule. See? The good old not minus. I am not making this up as wow. Hardly my worst defeat. Hey, Ra. Ra with the sub. Get those keep those hype boats going. Do I let Narset die for a card? Yeah, I can let Narset die. Meditate. No, those are all my lands. I need a uh, bad decision. Need all those lands back. <laughs> yep, everybody's playing the lands decks. It's only kind of bad against Krasis, I think. I just don't really know what's going on over here with this mana base. Maybe I should Thought Erasure as Kanta instead of just playing Dragon God. Dragon God's so good, though. But Thought Erasure does get worse over time. Golos. Oh, I didn't know that that was my opponent's Golos for this game. To play an artifact creature. Yeah. Alright, as Kanto will help us find our sweepers and sweep up some fields. The fields of zombies. You are not a sweeper. You go to the graveyard. You are a sweeper. You go to our hand. 
how this works. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your... I have other plans. Witness a moat of my power. Aether with the sub. Man, we were getting a bunch of new subs. Y'all are awesome. All the support. Thank y'all very much. So that's going to be number six. All right, sub number eight on the day. We're two away from our sub goal. So with the sub goals, what we do here is we crack a pack and... Mark it down towards our next 12-hour stream. All right, getting all those things out of there so they have to sacrifice lands. Yeah, get rid of that other field of the dead. I outsmarted you eons ago. All right, the time waster keeps them alive for a little bit. I've got it. Matter of time. No. How come we main deck legions in? Because the card's awesome. You have no weakness. It's good against everybody. Explode. And all these there's all these zombie decks running around. Zombies and vampires. I am not going to sit this way. Let's try this. A, really, a musician named Ian Bruce. Never heard of Ian Bruce. Oh, ow. My schemes are never ending. Okay, do we finally get this here? I think we got this. All right. I haven't done the guild battle yet. Um, a lot of people in chat have said they've they liked Demir. And uh, Orzov. People have been kind of saying all the different ones, though. Is it? All right, how do we sideboard the first time? You win 6-0 with the Selesnya deck? Nice. Crush it with Gruul, crush it with Orzov. What's my last card I'm taking out here? I like all these cards. Maybe a Narset? No, Narset, cool. I don't know what last card I'm supposed to take out. I want the Bedevils because I, I got to kill Teferi's. As we notice, like, the instant speed ramp effects are the worst for me. And plus, they're playing all these Goluses. Like, I want to kill the Goluses, so, like, Bedevil does that. Cut a Duress. I actually don't hate that. I can cut a Duress. All right, I'm fine with that. I 
I don't know if this deck is playing Binding. This one seems a lot more Sultai heavy. This deck seems a little different. Um, yeah, I'm not sure when, when next time we'll play a Simic Ramp deck is. I don't know. We have been drawing a very large percentage of our blue-red lands today. And I don't like it. It's our worst draw in our deck. Worst draw in our deck is a blue-red land. Give me more cards, Dragon God. No, too many lands. We're flooding out over here. Interesting. We got rid of Scape Shift. Interesting. Oh no. Nissa. That's not good for me. This is not good for me at all. Can we draw up a Devil, please? Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, don't thank you. No, no thank you. Darn it. I was like, yeah, the, the Nicol Bolas can kill the Nyssa. I need this to rest before that Nyssa. Nexus. Alright, well, I need more things against Nyssa, I suppose. Nyssa doesn't work super well with Field of the Dead. There, this kills Nessa. <laughs> Escape shift and Nexus? I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> what is that thing? Oh wait, they didn't kill my Narset first. Sweet. My mind needs a rest. The gods once. I am one again. I must ah, go. Perish. So Chandra only casts things that cost three or less, which is not ideal for Ritual of Soot being in my graveyard. Oh, that was a great draw. That's a great draw. All right, well, I need to keep in a little bit more bigger removal. Because, yeah, now Golas doesn't die to, like, if we, if we find a Ritual of Soot. Golas isn't dying there. Oh, I, d I don't know why they didn't attack first. Yeah, they should have definitely attacked first. 
Could have dealt six damage to me. I'm happy though. Ugh. One card off. Okay, so I can go. Legion's end this thing. Chandra. Not to brag, but Minus. I'm totally the best pyromancy student. Legion's end this thing. Come on, Chandra, remember that spell. They still have this darn Golos. They got to kill now. <clears throat> Chandra dying means we got Ascanta Flip ready to go now, and I have I plenty of blue red right lands now. to use. I don't know if they have more Nissas, but I can't beat Nissa, so I'm just going to say Nissa. Alright, what else we got over here? We got Tamias, Nexus, a bunch of Nexuses, Star of Extinction, a bunch of Tamios. Tamios is a great one. Please don't draw land. Land means they get to activate Golos. Ugh, they're going to activate Golos next turn. So we're going to need... We're going to need to find a removal spell for this Golos here. Devil works. One mana off. I'm playing Kefnet too. That's not good. It depends. Grixis Control is a tough deck to play. It is. I like it a lot, though. Why no Legion War Boss? It's horrendous against zombie tokens. And if you see, I'm playing just tons and tons of sweepers, because that's what I'm trying to do, and you don't really want to be playing War Boss with a bunch of Cryo Canariums and Ritual of Sets. Those don't really work well together. Doesn't matter if they don't have removal, they have blockers. Uh, 
Grixis is just the... It's the name for playing blue, black, and red together, those three colors. Yeah, Warboss comes in whenever I'm cutting the sweepers. Yep, that's whenever we actually play Warboss is whenever the sweepers aren't good. We always have too many of these blue red lands every hand. It's always like three of them. Every hand, just three blue red lands. But we're keeping this, of course, because of Escanta. Escanta should make all the rest of our draws good. Good. You went with the Orzov deck? Nice. There you go. <laughs> That was a great draw. That was a really good draw. Speaking of good ones, that's a pretty good one on ourselves. Shutting down this crisis. So they kept on top, so I kind of feel like it's Golos on top. So I'm going to grab the Bedevil instead of the Negate. This is overwhelming. I have been openings for minions. If you I have other plans. Alright, one well, on the field of the dead, it's gone. Aaron, with that resub for eight months. Called it. Thanks for that resub, Aaron. Sub number nine. Now will get those hype boats out there. We're only one sub away from our first sub goal of the day. And Grix has played some really long games. <laughs> Cannot see your folly. Um, these schemes have been for you. My intellect is without limit. They can kill Narset here. And Fabian. Or Fabian. One of the two. Thank you so much there, Fabian. My limit. No, Hawkeye's not asleep. He's, he's sitting right here. That's our... That's our sub goal there. So y'all remind me to crack a pack after this and... Looking at our info panel, that's going to be sub goal number 17 that we've hit since the last 12 hour stream. Nexus, still a good card. Still a good card there. Through this land, we are all connected. Fight on without me. Harness the elements. Into the dark. That was a great draw.
All right, we need a we need a creature to stabilize or something. Not good. Legion's end. My elemental friend. I must seek comfort in the land. Stop with these duresses. All the discard. Oh, I only have four black sources. I will spare you. In exchange for eternal strength, you will widen your bloodline. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. Oh, no. That's... Not good. That's not good at all. I didn't even know they had that in their deck. It's open for a land. Obviously, if I play Nicol Bolas, I don't get to have Disdainful Stroke up, which is the thing that's giving me pause here. My best way of winning this is Nicol Bolas Ultimate. We can block a hasty Nissa creature now. That 
is a really good card to draw. I will return one day. Make the multiverse in my image. I have other schemes. Well, I can't. I can't beat Nissa now. They've already seen three Nissas though, so it's not super likely they find another one. But I can't beat it. Anyone need a fire started? No. Fire spreads fast with help. We only have we saw one star from their deck last game. Remember this one? Conceivable. My intellect is without limit. Still in there. If our opponent bricks here, we should be able to win. Just draw a land. I guess they have the they have the Ascant activation though. We're gonna be able to ult we can ultimate Dragon God next turn. Are you kidding me? Time, planes, Ugh. That's it's not good. That was not good at all. Stand in my way. I keep getting rid of these lands. Death. I know I could I could plus two. Plus two would mean I'd be able to ultimate again next turn. Maybe that's what I should be doing. I guess I guess I should be doing plus two because of that. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh no. Come on. Oh, I haven't used I haven't used Chandra yet. They did that before I used Chandra. Never mind. Okay, we're good. I have other plans. But I don't get to I don't get to add loyalty. Weak minds which I wanted to. We have to do one of these things. God, this has been such a crazy game. Mother Lady always say, fight fire with fire. All right, reshuffle. Redraw. I 
we running out of lands anytime soon? Homework. You are all so generous. against many foes like you. Still have a negate in here somewhere. There's a negate. Found it. Alright, I think we got this now. I think we got this now. Hawkeye, we've been barely living here, these games. What does Tamio do to beat us? I don't think it does anything, right? Like, can I just let Tamio resolve? Like, I don't think Tamio does anything. Hmm. The moon looks intriguing tonight. Yeah, they get the white card, and then I negate the white card instead of just negating Tamio. It just makes them tap two more mana. Oh, they're grabbing Golos. I don't I don't know how that saves them. No, there's no limit to how many Planeswalkers you can have on the battlefield at once. Alright, well, Grixis is awesome. Man, all these games have been so crazy. These have been some super, super long games. So we're we found out that our deck's pretty good against Scape Shift. Um, I'm really glad I have all these Legions ends. This Legions end card has been just so incredible for me. Glad we're playing three Legions end and two Crow the Canariums and the Sets. Glad we're going with all those. Um, no, my opponent didn't concede before. There is no animation. Like that's all that it, that's all the minus eight does is it just kills the opponent like that. Um. Whew. All right, should we should we play one more or should we move on to our next deck? Because this league has still gone for a while and we want to make sure that we have time to play our other decks too. Usually I play five matches of every deck, but this one's been taking a while. But we are 3-0. We should probably play... We should probably play one more. All right, let's play one more. Because we are 3-0. I'm 
Maybe we'll play against something that's not Scapeshift, though, too. Yeah, the, the client has just been like this all day today. I've been... I restarted it right before this league, and I've already started it once during this league. It's been really bad today. Yeah, that was, that was a good game. GG's. No, I don't have any donation decks to do right now. I don't have any donation decks in the queue. But, I've, yeah, I've got Rank Up Sunday is my thing. But, yep, that we do on Sundays. If I had a donation deck to do, we would do one. But Rank Up Sunday. I've been trashing on these blue red lands, but now I wish we had a blue red land. Uh, I should not have done one more. Uh, should not have done one more. Getting punished for doing one more. Guys, just get rid of the double black cards. Uh, no, not not today. I've had I, it's it's kind of too late now. Um, I wouldn't have like the thumbnail ready like for it for YouTube and stuff. But I already yeah, I'm I'm gonna be playing these four decks for today. Usually, like when you submit donation decks, unless you're doing like the skip the line donation, I guess. But uh, I do the the decks the next day. Not not the same day. So yeah, so so yeah, I've had pick pick your day. You get to pick whatever day you want though, and what what time slot because that's how it usually works. Done. Okay, we're doing it. So island, 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 huh? This definitely seems like mono blue aggro. And against Mono Blue Aggro, I'm going to want a Narset. I think I want to save Thought Erasure a little bit. I'd rather be able to Thought Erasure plus something else in a turn. Where, like, if one of these is getting countered, I kind of want the Narset to throw down the Narset there. For that. All right, well. Don't have two black, so we're playing around Spell Pierce. But yeah, tell me what, what day and what time slot do you like I've had? I'm sorry. Boom. Okay, cool. Third slot tomorrow. I got you. Certainly considering just passing and like waiting for them to draw a card on my end step and then bedeviling the sailor. But they could have something, you know, like a Tempest Gin that I can't kill with Legion's End. The other thing the other thing reason why that would have been an okay play is that then I would have been able to pay four mana through for a uh Yep, you know, there's Tempest Gin. Would have been able to pay four mana for a lookout's dispersal with a Legion's End later. And yeah, now I wish I would have Legion's End for these things. Alright, Ritual of Soot. No. Oh, I should do this on their upkeep. If they did have a counter spell, then they would, wouldn't be able to grow the cutthroats. So that was just lazy. 
All right, well, we'll see if we draw a ritual set. Can I can I get this back? There are so keep an open mind. Set. We still alive. We still alive. No, we may not be alive anymore. <laughs> Removal. Cast down. Tyrant scorn. Meditate and prepare. Oh, I don't have three black sources because we've drawn six of our eight blue red lands. Come on. I mean, I can dispersal. So, you know, kind of risky. If I go dispersal, all it does is make them discard this island and they replay Tempest Gin. So then I'm, at that point, I'm drawing just one card to look for a removal spell. So it's probably better just to draw, to do the whole surveil thing then. Perfect. Oh, it wasn't an island. <laughs> oh no, that thing's so big. No. I have to chump block. Ugh. I forgot about that card just existing. I wish I would have grabbed the bolus to trade with the Tempest Gin. That's unlucky. Perfect. Yeah, if I would have just gone Ravager last turn, I would have taken. I would have just even made them discard this Terramander or the Opt. You know, like would have made them just discard that card, and then blocked. But I, I was too greedy. I thought that I could cast down and have a free Nickel Bolt, like a, a live Nickel Bolt, the next turn. Wow, Blue Red Lands, you're killing me. Killing me, Blue Red Lands. Killing me. Well, we mold the five, and we almost, almost got there. So close. I would not recommend Grixis for best of one. So, as Kanta, Narset, and Chandra are the cards that I'm going to be taking out, I'm just trying to decide what what combination of those six do I want to take out for the four cards. And Discovery is another option there. Can I just take out Narset, Chandra? Don't really like Cry of the Carnarium in this matchup, to be honest, but. Can I 
play one Narset over a Cry. We'll see if we draw that Narset if it's worse than a Cry. Hey, that's awesome! You've been playing, uh, you've been playing this Grixis list and really liking it. That's awesome. Glad to hear that. It's not ideal. Cobb with the sub. Thanks for that resub there, Cobb. Well, this is a really good... Our opponent's hand is a really good hand for Cry the Carnarium. Give me some lands. On deck, I need to get to this Kefnet. Our 11th sub of the day. And Plague Vendor, also with that support. Thank you so much, Plague Vendor. One Spectral Sailor out of here. Come on, just draw a black mana, please. That's all I want is black mana. No. This is unfortunate for us. I usually really like my mono blue matchup, but we've had two pretty rough hands here and everything with these mulligans. But I mean, we could still be in it if we draw a black source and we can ritual set away these things. It's not over. I mean, game one, if we just had three black sources, I think we win. Or just, it was just really unlucky to have six of the blue red lands. And now here we are again with a bunch of these blue red lands. No, I don't have duress in the main deck. No. There's three dresses in the sideboard. I think this is done by now. I think I think they probably have a counter spell. Maybe not, we gotta just hope. But giving them those extra two draw steps does not help. So it's probably more likely that they have a counter spell for Ritual of Sith than Kefnet, right? Okay, I'll have the counter either way. Well, I'd rather that get counter though than the Soot, so. But now all they need is a haste creature or a, a flash creature also. That's how you lose most of your matches, not drawing the fourth land. Yeah, that's a, that's a rough way to go. I, I really don't see this working. Our best case scenario is they draw a card with Spectral Sailor. No. There should just be another creature here that probably kills us. Yep, GG. All right, so we went 3-1 with Grixis. Real disappointing last match. I, that's that's the kind of deck that whenever, uh, like, last format, you know, Mono Blue was pretty popular. That was like the the deck that I would get most all my wins with with Grixis, and that was that was my favorite deck to to face. To be fair, it is it is tougher now. Uh, Spectral Sailor and Brineborn Cutthroat are both very good. That those those two cards do make their deck better. 
against Grixis here. But still, I, I like that matchup. Um, yeah, that's why we don't do the one more. Yep, there you go. Uh, yeah, mana situations are rough. All right, so what we learned... Um, what, what we learned is I am getting another Blood Crypt in here and taking out the Steam Vents. So I that was something that I kind of tossed and turned about uh, even like going into this was, um, you know, I was looking at like the mana that I had. I had three Blood Crypts. So I had 17 Black Sources and definitely wanted like the 18th. But with playing Narset, Kefnet, you know, we need the double blue there. So I was a little worried about, about cutting like a Steam Vents for the Blood Crypt. But man... That was just game after game after game. Like, I mean, honestly, maybe maybe it's just like the small sample that I'm overreacting. But out of these eight blue red lands that we had, we just always had like three plus, and it was really rough. Um, so I, I'm going to make that one little change going forward. I'm going to take out a steam vents for a blood crypt, but honestly, nothing else. I'm not changing anything else right now. I really liked uh, what we had going on here. It felt really good. Um, but. No, I, I don't, Photon. No, I don't. But there we go. So yeah, usually we play the five matches. I'm just going with the four with Grixis because the games are just so much longer. And uh, you know, I only have like two and a half hours left now. And it's been four and a half hours on two decks. And like two and a half hours for our other two decks. So we're going to move on to Sultai Flash here. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Hawkeye will be all happy about that. All right, Hawkeye? Um, but... Thank you so much for watching Grixis Control here, and I will see you for the next video.